Hey everybody, it's Steve back with some more DMX simple programming tips. And today we're going to talk about controlling lights with audio and MIDI and the Chaveo Bay 40. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we set up two different banks with four scenes each and we made a chase, uh, we called it Chase 2, that had those uh, eight different scenes in it. And so now we're going to show how you can trigger each one of those scenes in the chase uh, with audio first, then we'll talk about MIDI. So one of the functions on the Obey 40, uh, first we're gonna go to Chase 2, and then one of the functions is this button that's called Music. So if you hit that button right there, the way that this is designed is every time the uh, Obey 40, here's a transient. It goes to the next uh, scene in the sequence in the chase. And it works pretty well when you're clapping your hands. I think it's designed for uh, listening to probably EDM music where there's a real distinct kick drum and with that in theory it should sync right to whatever music you're playing. I found that it doesn't work very well, the results are unpredictable, especially because as far as I know there's no level control in the Obey 40, so depending on the volume of the music it reacts differently, so it's very unpredictable. Um, so anyway, that's, that's audio. Okay, so let's uh, talk about MIDI for a second. MIDI is a protocol that was invented around the 1980s that allows musical instruments like keyboards to talk to sound modules and computer sequencers and it's pretty simple and straightforward. There's this MIDI cable uh, which is a 5 pin DIN cable that connects all the devices together. So this is uh, an Alesis Q49 controller, just a standard MIDI controller and the Obey 40 has a MIDI in jack in the back right there. So we're going to plug the keyboard into the Obey 40. And basically, there we go, it's plugged in. Basically the way that the Obey 40 is set up is you don't have to go into any mode. The only thing that you have to do is make sure that the MIDI channel on the Obey 40 is set to the same channel as the controller. And it's pretty simple, that's what the MIDI uh, button on the Obey 40 is for, is for changing the MIDI channel. Because the MIDIs have to line up, there's 16 MIDI channels, they have to be on the same channel. So these are both on channel 1, it's pretty simple. Uh, once it's set up, the way that the Obey is always in this mode, is that MIDI notes from the keyboard trigger specific scenes and chases in the Obey 40. So. For example, note zero uh, is scene one in bank one. So if I hit the very lowest note on the keyboard, which is actually MIDI note zero, we've got scene one. And this is MIDI note one, MIDI note two, MIDI note three, and so on. And in the, again, the previous tutorial, we uh, programmed four scenes into bank two. And so those are triggered by these notes. The more effective way to be able to program lights uh, in a very predetermined manner is to use MIDI with a sequencer. Uh, program the MIDI notes into the sequencer and then have the sequencer play them back to the Obey 40s. Uh, for controlling DMX lights with the Obey 40, I like to use a MIDI sequencer that runs on my iPad. It runs on my iPad MIDI and it's called Meteor and it's a great little sequencer that allows you to do MIDI out and record audio so you can sync audio with MIDI for controlling lights and it works very very well. So I have my iPad mini connected with a simple MIDI interface that goes from a lightning connector uh, connected to the USB to the MIDI uh, interface. And the MIDI interface is connected from the output of the Alesis Q49 and then into the Obey 40. So that's basically the way that the uh, signal path runs. 
So with the sequencer set to MIDI through, which is what you need to do, uh, the, the Q49 still controls the lights just as they did before, just as if it were connected straight with MIDI straight into it because it's the MIDI is going through the sequencer. So we still can control each one of the scenes with a MIDI note. But now we're going to record those MIDI notes into the sequencer and try and do it in sync uh, to some music. So we're going to go to the iPad Mini and we are in, we're going to enable the MIDI track and we're going to go to record and we are going to try and record something. stop. I'm going to rewind back and it recorded the MIDI notes in this track and now when we play back uh, it should have recorded what we played on the keyboard controlling the lights. And that works pretty well. So you can see the potential from being able to record any kind of MIDI note data, have it play back to the Obey 40, and then have the Obey 40 control any kind of DMX device. You can set up lasers, uh, regular lights, moving headlights, anything, and have it all sync to a pre-controlled MIDI track synced to music. So the potential is unlimited for what you can do with MIDI. So anyway, that's all we've got for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we will see you for the next one.